Hi, I'm Bradley Ashby, and I'm a project manager with our connectivity group here at Wolfram Research. I worked on the data drop project, and I want to present a quick example to demonstrate how easy it is now to get data into the Wolfram language uh, using data drop. Now, I'd call myself a novice when it comes to programming in any language, uh, so this example is definitely an uh, if I can do it, you can do it situation. Uh, we also have this quick reference set up uh, to help familiarize new users with data drops functionality. A while ago, there was a post on the Wolfram community site about how to use an Android app called Tasker to send data to the Wolfram data drop. I thought this was a pretty keen idea. Tasker is a highly programmable app that provides access to the treasure trove of data that is collected by smartphones. Most importantly for data drop, it can send API requests. I set my own phone to start logging all sorts of data just to see what we had to work with. Uh, the community post here has details on how to set this up uh, but I have a screenshot of the data that I've been collecting on my own phone. So next I set up a data bin uh, with the appropriate data semantics uh, for these values that I will be collecting. This is pretty similar to how you define parameters for an API function uh, as a, an association of keys and interpreters. You'll notice that restricted uh, structured quantity uh, sees heavy use here. It simply adds the given units uh, to the values it receives. For this example, I'm going to pull out the location and Wi-Fi connection information. My plan is to make a map of all the locations around town where I can connect to a Wi-Fi network. That way, if my mobile data plan runs out or I need to transfer a large file, it'll be easy to map out my options. I happen to know in this case that I have enough data in the most recent 400 entries uh, to create a decent map, so I'm going to only access the entries I need uh, to save some processing time. We just execute this line here and it will pull up the data bin that we need. I'm looking specifically for times where I've been successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. Tasker sends this as a string with a bunch of angle brackets here, connection, and normal of a data bin returns the list of entries with each entry is an association of key value pairs that were received. So then we select the entries that were returned with the correct string. Now I just need to pull out the locations. There's our list of geo positions. And then I plot them on a map with GeoList plot. And there we go. Now I know wherever I am in town, there's a Wi Fi spot nearby that I can run to. Now, since Data Drop is accessible from the Wolfram Cloud, the next natural step is to create an API that I can call on the go. I just combine the above steps and Cloud Deploy. Now I can just visit this URL whenever I need to. This example can be taken even further by automatically calculating which location is closest. I'll leave that as an exercise for you though. Uh, I decided to use Tasker to fuel this example because it illustrates two strong points of data drop. One, with data drop all it takes to get data into the Wolfram language is a simple API call. If you're making a do-it-yourself application for personal use or one for commercial reasons, it's very simple to start collecting data. If you can make a POST or a GET request, you're ready to start. I used an Android app for this, but you could build this into websites, apps, or directly into a device. And then second, by defining data semantics for my data bin, I not only had access to the data from a smartphone, but I was able to give it more value as it came in. Uh, the latitude and longitude coordinates, for example, were just sent as strings before they were interpreted into geo positions by the Wolfram language. And now they're ready to be used immediately by all of the geo functions that are already built in. I hope you've enjoyed this quick demonstration of the Wolfram data drop and some of the utility it opens up, even if for beginners like me. If you find any other examples or have any questions, please post them to the Wolfram community site. I'd be excited to see them. Thank you.